everyone and welcome back to Caitlin's Corner. I hope you are doing well today. The other day I went shopping for some back to school supplies. Did I really need to go shopping for more stationary things? Probably not. Did that keep me away? Uh, no. <laughs> I go back to school in less than a month, so to prepare I ended up going to Staples, Muji, and Paper Chase. Some items were things I just needed to stock up on, and others were things that I couldn't walk away from, which is honestly a frequent occurrence when I go shopping by myself. Uh, the first store I visited was Paper Chase. Now Paper Chase if I am correct, is a UK company. But for my fellow Torontonians, if you are ever in the Yorkville area, head over to Hudson's Bay and you will find that on, I don't know which floor it is, but they have like a paper chase, a mini paper chase store within the bay. Was that a clear explanation? Every few months or so, I like to pop in there and see what new goodies they have, and they also have a 10% off discount for students, so it makes it even harder to, to be good. First item that I saw there that I knew was coming home with me uh, was this notebook. I usually like to use the Clairefontaine grid paper notebooks for my school notes, but this notebook actually has grid sheets within it, and I felt like the paper quality was quite nice. Each page opens up flat, which is really important for me and I think most students out there. When you're writing lots of notes, you don't want to always have to push your notebook down. So that's really nice. Believe it or not, I also got another notebook. This is a mini one though. It's actually called an exercise book and this one has dotted sheets in it. Obviously this isn't really big enough to do any school notes in, but I figured this is a great size notebook to have thrown in my backpack or any bag that I'm using so that I always have some sort of paper on hand. What can I say? I can't resist dotted pages. Also got some binder clips. These are gold and come in a package of six. I always like to have either whatever homework I'm working on or an outline for a project put at the front of my binder so it's easily accessible. These are gonna help me do that. Speaking of binders, I also got these A4 subject dividers. It comes in a package of 10. I really like the fact that these are all black. That's pretty much the only reason I got them. I know they're, it's, or it's very simple looking, but I think they're just gonna look very very aesthetically pleasing with the binder that I picked up at Staples. This is going to be my new destination for completed assignments that I need to transport to my lectures. Whenever I have to hand in an essay or an assignment, I always put in a sheet protector and then put that in my backpack, but there's always the chance of it bending and stuff, and this is just a little bit more stable than a sheet protector, so alas, I shall be using this. Also, I won't lie, there's just something so satisfying about these zippers on these pouches. You're seeing them everywhere now. Um, I mean, they've always been around, but I feel like they're just a lot more popular. I'm gonna stop doing this and put this down. <laughs> Next up is Staples, one of my favorite stores ever. Every time I go, I look through every aisle as if it's the first time I've been there. Most of the things I picked up were things I needed refills for, so the first one being just regular old scotch tape. Some beautiful white crisp erasers from Pentel. I swear I started last year with like four of these white erasers. They all have disappeared on me. White out, which is a pretty essential item to have on hand when you're doing notes in pen and uh, make mistakes. I don't know why I'm trying to explain why I need white out. Jumbo sized gold paper clips. Don't really have much of an explanation for this one. I mean technically I could have gotten the regular silver paper clips, but gold my friends takes a not so fun paper clip and transforms it into a semi-fun paper clip. <laughs> From the brand Oxford, I picked up yet another zippered pouch. This one, a mini form, still just as fun to zip open and close. This has some index cards inside that are dotted. I actually think I picked up this exact, no, I know I picked up this exact thing in the past before, uh, but I used them, so to get them again, you have to, you have to get the whole pouch and thing. This really only lasts me for one study session. Not really practical, should have just gotten a package of like 50 or 100 index cards or a blank and white and just regular lined, but I'm a sucker for cute. From Stedler, I bought a mini hi highlighter. In what world is that a highlighter? Pencil sharpener. I always have the bigger version somewhere in my office so that I can sharpen pencils, obviously, as one does with the pencil sharpener. But when I saw this little mini version that's the perfect size to throw into a pencil case, I just wondered how I hadn't had it before. <laughs> Hopefully this prevents me from bringing 5 million pencils with me to an exam. Like I could really tone it down to a solid 1 million and then if something breaks, 
I got a sharpener. Staples also had some five star grid paper on sale. This is a package of 100. All of my notes I do online or, or in a notebook, but for homework or if I'm studying for a test, sometimes I do like some loose leaf paper action. The last thing I got at Staples was this white binder. It's pretty simple, but it's going to look Splendid with some black tabs. Every semester I have one binder that has the syllabus for each of my courses and then also space for me to insert completed marked assignments. My next stop was Muji. My one mission really when going there was to pick up the 0.38 gel pens. I use these in my notes and in my bullet journal. They're just a great regular everyday writing pen. You like a little bit of a thicker line because 0.38 is quite skinny, then uh, you should definitely check out the 0.5 version. And Muji in general just has tons of pens that you can try out at their stores. It's like a stationary theme park. It's a hoot. Highly recommend. I also decided to try out this new pen. have no idea what the name of it is because it doesn't say on here, but I will link it in the description box below. It is also a 0.38 and it seemed like a fun time when I tried it out in store, so I guess I'll just have to see if I like it in the long run. I mean, I do love me a good click clack pen, so I have high hopes. A bit of a random purchase was this sticky note checklist. I think this would be cool to use in textbooks, maybe to keep track of readings or homework questions that you've completed. I don't know. There was no real need for this. It looked interesting. I needed to have it. The next item I picked up at Muji was a pill case. You may be wondering, Caitlin, this is a back to school stationery supplies haul, not a medical haul. I don't, I, don't, I don't know. I got this because you may be able to tell that there's dividers in here, obviously because the fact it's for storing pills. But I noticed in the store that these dividers, at least these ones that go um, horizontally, there we go, are removable. So what I see here is an opportunity for you to add and remove these dividers to have a pencil case that's perfectly organized and fits different things. Muji also sells these without any dividers at all and those are like, the, the technically those are the pencil cases. Muji also happened to have a sale on their acrylics. They were 30% off so I ended up picking up another one of the, the pen holders that you guys always ask me about whenever I show it in photos on Instagram. It's really cool because your, your pens lie on an angle and obviously because it's acrylic it almost disappears on your desk. It's very cool cool and I got this not for me but for my brother because he will be uh, in moving into his dorm in September at U of T as well and I thought this would be like a great gift to give him but of course I could not just leave without getting an acrylic for me as well because I already have the small one I decided to get the large one and I think I'm going to use this to store my Crayola super tips because I want to stop storing them vertically in a pen holder. With markers and pens, I know it is best to store them horizontally, and this isn't exactly horizontal, but it's not vertical either, so I think it's a good compromise. The last few items are things I randomly picked up over the last month or so. The first one being this post-it note slash flag combo package right here. You get two post-it notes, two post-it flags, and this is from the Rio de Janeiro collection. When I went back to school shopping, one thing I knew I didn't need was highlighters because I already picked up these Stabilo Swing Cool highlighters in Portugal, as well as some mini Stabilos and also some mild liners a few months before that. I, I'm highlighter out. I love using pastel highlighters because I feel like they're a little bit more muted than the bright yellows and pinks and greens that traditional highlighters come in. I mean, Stabilo also has the, those traditional colors as well, but like I said, the, the pastels, they get me. And the last item in this back to school supplies haul is my new bullet journal. If you saw my bullet journaling for students video, then you've already met my new bullet journal. Her name is Harper. This is a Scribbles That Matter dotted journal. I think the color is pastel pink. One of the reasons I really love this journal is because the pages are quite white. They don't have a yellow tint or much of a yellow tint to them, which for me is really important because I film my bullet journal videos. So when you see uh, yellow on camera when the camera sees yellow 
on camera, it'll make the whole video a little bit yellow. The paper quality is also really great and I've heard amazing things about this journal so I'm excited to use something new. And that my friends is it for my back to school supplies haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it and if you did be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe and notification bell and let me know in the comments below what are three items you have to pick up every year at the start of a new school year. Pens, a new binder, and whiteout are usually always at the top of my list. I will see you all very soon with a new video and until then, bye guys.